we have a sphere made out of concrete using the ferro cement technique for building with concrete. Um, we use a we use a sphere because a sphere structurally distributes all the stress equally so over, over the whole surface, so it's less likely to to open under pressure. And it turns out we have found that building spheres for our water tanks is actually cheaper than building uh, than buying the uh, the plastic ones, uh, which I, under some people's consideration are also ugly. So with a sphere you have a, an aesthetic form that is functional for holding water. So when we make a sphere out of concrete, uh, what we do is we, first of all, on a flat space, put out rings of uh, rebar, uh, the size of the sphere we want to make. So in this case, we want to, we made, I wanted to make a, a two meter sphere, so we made rings that have a diameter uh, or a radius of one meter and a diameter of two. Then we put them together, we wire them together, we uh, put them uh, plumb, and then we add more uh, circles. We, we can make as uh, many as you want. You want to make one horizontal, uh, <clears throat> maybe up to eight vertical ones, and then you make smaller ones. You can just f uh, figure out uh, what size you want to make your circles, your rings. But before you do anything, you want to tie the sphere down to the earth. Otherwise, it uh, could just take off and roll away someplace. So you uh, build a bit of a foundation right at the, at the center of the, of the bottom. And you tie your whole sphere to that. And then once you have all your metal rings made, then you, uh, you cover it with uh, metal mesh or, and or chicken, chicken wire. And once you have the whole thing formed with metal, you start parging it with cement. This is a, a, a little bit delicate process as you need to firm up the sphere wherever you can before you can do the whole process. And so you do a little bit inside, you do a little bit outside, and you leave it dry, you leave it firm up, and then you start really, once you have it uh, firmed up, you can really start giving it. So what we did in this case, for instance, we did, we finished the outside, first of all, and then we'll leave it for at least for a week, maybe 10 days. So once we uh, have finished with the sphere, finish parging it inside, we literally fill, fill it with water almost immediately because this water will help cure the cement so that it doesn't break open. And you have uh, the sphere finished and you, and you put your, your uh, we have two out, outlet uh, valves. <coughs> One is right at the floor level. So that you, for cleaning it, you clean the whole thing out completely with everything. And the one at the top level, which we use for a little higher, maybe four, 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 four uh, inches higher, four, 10 centimeters. And that's where you get your water out of. And that's where your sphere, sphere is. The sphere, as we've said, is a structure. It's one of the most stable structures you can build because all the stress and tension of pressure is distributed equally through the whole uh, surface area. So that makes it also an excellent uh, form uh, of building for to um, deal with earthquakes. Uh, the advantage of a sphere is that the wind has nothing to grab onto. And um, in an earthquake, they have done a test, the University of British Columbia with uh, with spheres and subjecting them to 9.6 um, magnet earthquakes and l very little uh, damage was done if any so in the future uh, if if the climate change creates uh, more violent winds and in tornadoes we will see more dome and sphere structures become more common in the human habitat and uh I particularly would like to do a project in an area of the world, in Mexico or wherever, where there's a, a dangers of both hurricanes and, and volcanoes to build a, 
uh, to do an experimental project with a house that's built in the shape of a sphere to, to decide once and for all whether this is a good, a good idea. Well, it has been proved to be a good idea, but just to reinforce it, it seems like we move very slowly in terms of changing our perceptions of how things should, can be done, even though danger is pushing us to, to another level.